Today I'm at Frida on Cerritos and the air quality is abysmal because an idiot lit a firework at a gender reveal party. So I'm at Frida's and Cerritos today, and I have a special guest, my dear friend Julio, who uh, has been a very good friend since high school. And uh, additionally to recommending this fine place, he also is an RN, so he's going to be giving us some perspective on what it's like to work in a hospital right now. Julio, say hello to the internet. Uh, hello, internet. And Zach, thank you for having me. Why did you recommend Frida's? I don't know. I love this place. Um, I really do like their margaritas here. They're really flavorful. They make everything fresh, and they make them big. I like big. Let's get to it then. Sweet. Can I please get a house margarita on the rocks? No salt? Actually, no, I'll take it with salt. No salt? No, with salt. I'm gonna have the, uh, oh, um, what's that margarita? What is it called? It's gonna Cadillac be the, camera. The, the Cadillac margarita. Cadillac? Yeah. This better be good, not kidding. <laughs> These salsas are outstanding. Right? I love places that just when you sit down bring you more than one kind of salsa. Yeah, I like it too. I'm gonna try not to kill my appetite. <laughs> not trust me, you won't. Unless you keep bringing out these chips. And the sky is just unbelievable right now. Yeah, this is nuts. So perfect. Yep. Thank you. These are beautiful. Bro, <laughs> these are some good margaritas. Cheers. Cheers, my man. Oh yeah, this definitely has fresh lime juice. There's probably a splash of orange juice in it. I can definitely taste that. Oh yeah, I can feel it too. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be having, actually no, I'm not gonna be having two more. I'm gonna maybe be having one more. <laughs> I us I'm usually good for like two, um, two here. And I'm good. Um, anything more than that, I'll be like the conquistador. You know it's not there anymore. Yeah, I know it's not there anymore. It's, we were there. We were there the last night they were open. I went. Um, I went the week that they were closing, and we were sad. 100. percent That was. That was. That place was great. Yeah. It was special. So you work in a hospital. You're an RN. I do. Um, I work uh, locally in the city of LA in, a, an emergency, in, an, in an emergency department. What is an N95 mask and why were they so hot in April? They were so hot in April because they filtered out 95% of particulate matter um, of anything that you breathe in. My understanding was that that only worked if you had shaved in the last two days. Um, it, it, you want to create the best seal as possible, and having a full beard like yourself, it would not be efficient. What about you? Uh, this this works. This uh, this works. What I have now. I actually had a larger beard, but when the pandemic hit, I actually shaved it all off and went uh, was bald all the way around, just and because I wanted a s solid seal on my face. But this works as well because there, there, there's less hair on my face. What is a KN95 mask? Yeah, I'm not really too sure what the difference is, but we don't have any KN95 masks at my place. And looking over your uh, social media posts, these single-use gloves that people are so fond of, you have, you're very opinionated about those. Can you talk us through that? Well, people don't really know how to use personal protective equipment, period. They just don't know how to use it. So they, with the gloves are really meant to use as you touch one thing, you take off your gloves, you wash your hands, you move on to the next thing, you put new gloves on. Uh, what people are really doing is just touching everything under the sun with the same gloves and then touch themselves or touch their personal belongings. They break that seal of safety for themselves. So they don't know how to use personal protective equipment. If anything, this pandemic has shown how dirty people really are. Period. <laughs> and we are currently in the second week of September. Is the healthcare system overwhelmed? Uh, depends on who you ask. And then there's it's, there's waves as well. When it first hat when we first got hit, we were shocked because um, we didn't see as many people as we thought we were going to see. And then fast forward a few weeks or maybe a month or so later, we got we got annihilated. Um, then there was another period where there was nothing. So it goes up and down really. It goes up and down with trends, what's going on in, in the world really. Holidays 
and stuff like that. Right here? Our food is here. Julio, anything else you have to say before I annihilate this plane in front of me? We need another margarita. Cheers. When you're right, you're right. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and check this place out, it's fantastic. Zach, I'm gonna drink every margarita in LA. Julio, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Zach. Let's do it again at another spot. Hallelujah. Cheers.